Hi, my Heavenly Place Angels. This is Home Cooking with me, Chef Celeste. And today we're making Abondigos con Saffron. So let me introduce you all to my ingredients. We have red bell pepper, chopped onion, ground pork, Parmesan, this manchego cheese, which is um, sheep's milk cheese. Here we have, of course, the chopped parsley, garlic, and shallot. And this is 80-20 ground beef and the pancetta. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to add, I'm adding some milk and making a paste with these two slices of bread. I mean, I don't mind using this fork, but that's not working for me. Here, I like to do it like this. I like to use my hands when I'm cooking. I mean, it is my food. And so, I'm just making a, a nice little bread paste. And it's going to serve as a binder for the uh, meatballs. I want to get it nice and pasty. This is two slices of bread torn and a half a cup of milk. Okay, so now we have this nice goopy paste right here. Now I'm gonna add the meat. So I'm gonna eyeball this and I'm gonna use a half a pound of this ground pork. Could be more. People will be online talking about, I'm going to put a whole ounce in the ounce of that. Okay. Here I have a half a pound of ground beef that I'm going to be adding to this. And so, here, let me get these. This here is the bread, parsley, garlic, shallots. Let me get my cheeses in. Some Parmesan. The recipe don't call for Parmesan either, but Parmesan is another source of salt, so I like to use it to kind of keep down the addition of kosher salt or whatever kind of salt I like to use. Next, I'm going to add the uh, ground beef. And that's about a half a pound of ground beef here. Mix that in, add some salt, just a little bit. Pepper. Okay, and I'm gonna mix this up real good with my hands and then I'm gonna make the meatball. We're getting ready to make the meatballs. Like just a, a small scoop. Not really like super big. They're about maybe an inch and a half. I could be being a little. It could be underestimated, but that's cool. Don't matter. Oh. Let's see. These are the meatballs. And once you've made them all up, you need to cover them up. Now, it's time to cover them up because these meatballs are empty. And even though y'all think y'all got all the secrets about these meatballs, y'all don't. Because I ain't telling them. Anyway, so let me go put these in the refrigerator and we'll get back to making the soup. Okay, so here we have the skillets of heating. I'm just going to take the pancetta. Mm -hmm. I just want to put a knife in the top. 
little bit of onion in here. I'm going to start with red pepper onion, I love onion, shallots, y'all know that the garlic goes in last. I put it in the skillet last and because um, it burns easy. And you, you really want to extract the flavor from it. You don't want to, like, really cook it. Okay. So, we didn't introduce our team of spices that we're going to be using. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you all smoky paprika. Cute. Red pepper flakes. Homes oh, come with these red pepper flakes, <laughs> some cracked black pepper. One of my favorite spices, saffron. I'm gonna add some paprika. I could man. Red pepper. Some black pepper. Now, what I'm gonna do is this is supposed to be a cup of white wine. I'm just gonna pour this in here. This is a strong herb, so. It can pretty much tolerate anything. It's saffron from somewhere in Spain. I don't know. Somebody can help me out. What I'm going to do next is transfer this to a larger pot. Benson, bring me my skillet. Okay, so I am transferring the red pepper. And so the uh, chicken stock that I use for this is a chicken stock that I make myself. It is just the, um, turn this up. It's just the chicken by itself, no, no nothing. So this is the one that I'm trying. Usually I have a one that is herbed with like thyme and uh, bay leaf and stuff like that. But this one I, I didn't use, I didn't do that. Now I'm going to add the meatballs that I lightly browned. This 
point, the meatballs have been cooked, the vegetables are tender, and so now the last ingredient, next to the last ingredient, is the, is the kale. Yeah, add some kale, make it healthy. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more of this and that just cause it look good. I just want to pick it up a little, just a little bit more. It should be perfect. It smells absolutely, oh, the aroma from this is just ridiculous. I, I can literally smell like the kale, Mm, and the red peppers, they, they're so sweet. Oh, gosh. Y'all, this soup is so good. I'm telling y'all, choose your own meat and make this soup. And it's not going to be like mine, but y'all still make y'all own. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. When Benson don't come. <laughs> Benson. 